What's up, family? It's your guy, Rich Chan. Welcome back to the channel. And I know I'm, I'm late, you know what I'm saying? I've been I've been trying to, you know, uh, figure out this whole setup today. It's, it's been acting crazy on me, man. But um, we got Meek Mill, What's Free, featuring Rick Ross, and none other than the GOAT, Jay-Z. Uh, it's off of Meek Mill's new album, Championships, that just dropped today. But that's what we're going to be checking out. Make sure you guys smash that like button if you haven't already. And hit the subscribe button if you are not subscribed. And as always, if you guys have any more request videos, you can either comment those down below in the comment section. Or you guys can DM those to us via social media. The links to all of our social media accounts will be in the description box below. But without further ado, let's jump straight on into this video. Um... And no, I cannot play the entire song on YouTube, obviously for copyright reasons. So there's going to be some pausing. There's going to be some skipping around. But y'all know how we get down. Let's jump into it. Turn me up. Let's rock. Oh. Uh. You know what free is, nigga? What's free? What's free? What's free is when nobody else can tell us what to be. Mm. Free is when the TV ain't controlling what we see. Mm. Mm. Free is when the TV ain't controlling what you see. When the news isn't isn't controlling your mind. When when you don't allow the news to man, manipulate the way that you think and how you feel. Talk to us, Meek. Talk to us, Meek. I hear you. Just a lad, I was cunning, just got a pad out in London. I keep stacking my money, I need a ladder by summer. Mm -hmm. 8K shots, niggas ducking straight shots. Been a top dog, that's before the K dots. Been a top dog, that's before the K dots. You never been on the list. Mona Lisa to me ain't nothing but a bitch. Mm. Hanging pictures like niggas swinging from his dick. We so different, you thought these didn't exist. The Megalodon never seen on his wrist. Never nobody's favorite. Pot and kilo go hand in hand like we gamble and huff. My amigo a million grams when we count them and up. You was dead broke, I let you hold it back. You paid for it, but I fuck around and stole the track. Screaming gang gang, now you wanna rap. Racketeering charges caught him on the tap. Screaming gang gang, now you want to rap? Racketeering charges? Ross Ross came too quick with the bars on Takashi, bro. They, I mean, who 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 else? I mean, I I, I guess I'm I'm sure there's somebody out there that he could be possibly talking about. But come on, like screaming gang gang. But then you turn to a rap. He's been played. Well, he's a, this, this this is all. Well, I, I I don't know. You know all the information. I I, I did see an academics uh, little thing, but a, a, a lot of a lot of the stuff that's been reported isn't true. Um, but I, I, I need to do some more research on this, but from what I've heard, he was placed in a place where they typically, um, uh, place people who have, you know, basically snitched, you know? Um, and honestly, honestly, I don't blame him. And I'm gonna tell you why I was watching an interview. Um, I want to say it was a breakfast club interview. I'm going to make this quick. I'm going to make this quick. I think it was a Breakfast Club interview where he was talking about how, you know, he went to Chicago and he was supposedly on O Block at, you know, what you call at 10 o'clock at night, but he really wasn't. And Charlemagne, like, called, called him out on it or whoever the interviewer was called him out on it. And he was like, he was like, yeah, like, like, no, nah, I, I, I was there at like three o'clock in the morning. You know what I'm saying? Like, he, he like admitted to it. He was like, I entertain y'all, but I'm, I'm not going to die for y'all, which let me know, like, for him, like it was just all entertainment. Like he wasn't like actually trying to like you we, we we've seen motherfuckers who who try to I, mean, I ain't gonna name no names. I ain't, I ain't gonna I ain't gonna say no names. Who who like try to make it seem who try to make their their uh claim to fame seem real, <coughs> Vicky. Um you know what I'm saying? Like and it's like son, like uh, just just stop it, bro, stop it. But Takashi like admitted, like nah, this is just all for entertainment. Like I'm not gonna die for y'all. I'm not stupid. I'm not about to go out there at ten o'clock at night, you know, when when people is actually really out there ready to shoot. You know, I'm gonna go out there at four o'clock in the morning when ain't nobody woke. 
You know what I mean? But, um, so my, my, my point, my point was it was all just to sell. It was all just to sell albums, make money. So why wouldn't he snitch? Especially if he wasn't actually involved in all of it. If it was all just for entertainment and he actually wasn't involved. Well, why am I going down for something that I didn't do? Fuck that whole snitches get snitches thing. I'm, I'm not going down for something I ain't do now. If I did it, I did it. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I do my little time. But if I ain't have shit to do with it. And all of my shit was just for entertainment. Hell no. Nah. I ain't taking no time for nobody. Looking for a bond. Lawyers want to text. Purple hair got them faggots on your back. Right. free. Right. Free is when nobody else can tell us what to be. Free is when the TV ain't controlling what we see. see. Told my niggas That's... I need you. Do all the fame, you know I stay true. true. Pray my niggas stay free. Made a few mistakes, but this ain't. Fed investigations heard they plying like I trap. 20 million cash, they know I got that off a of rap. Maybe it's the Michael Rubens or the Robert Crafts or the billionaire from Marcy in the way they got my back. Uh, see how I prevail in that. Hey, Meek, Meek Mill done leveled up his circle. His, his his circle of individuals around him majorly leveled up. I mean, he, he's hanging with billionaires. That's why he was able to leave jail in a helicopter. The person that owns the 70s, that owns a part of the 76ers picked him up in that bitch. I was watching an interview uh, with Meek Mill and he was talking about how, um, and I'm, I'm going to make this quick because this really doesn't have anything to do with the, with the song, but it just has something to do with just the culture in general. But Meek Mill was talking about how, you know, he was hanging with this billionaire and the billionaire like laughs at motherfuckers who, who try to spend all this money, but really don't have it. <laughs> like if you, if you, if you look at all the billionaires in this world, you look at the Jeff Bezos, the Warren Buffett's, um, uh, uh, um, um, what's what's old dude named that own Microsoft? Bill Gates. When have you ever seen them wear Gucci? Louis, Fendi, Prada. I mean, any any other high end fashion brand that you can name. When have you ever seen Jeff Bezos, who's worth a hundred and ten billion dollars? Bill Gates, who's worth ninety billion dollars, Warren Buffett, who's worth like uh eight seventy eighty billion dollars. When have you ever seen any one of these individuals wear anything designer? I'll wait. They have enough money to buy these entire companies, let alone just buy a shirt. Bill Gates could buy the whole company of Gucci and make everybody in that bitch work for him and and, and, and specially design only him, uh, you know, uh, clothes. He got enough money to do that. They don't, they, rich people don't spend their money on looking rich. Poor people do. And that's basically what Meek Mill was talking about, you know, uh, when he, when he was conversating, um, with this billionaire. Poor people try to make themselves look rich. Billionaires don't have to, because they actually are rich. It's a different mindset. But let's let's get back to this music, because that, that ain't have nothing to do with this music. It was just it was just part of a Meek Mill interview that I had saw. But let's jump back in. Tell the judge all this good stuff that I'm doing. Let him know about it. Judge banging that gab will turn me to slave from a king. Another day in the bing. I gotta hang from a string. Just for popping a willy. My people march to the city. From a cell to a chopper. If you from the top of the city. You can tell how we rock as soon as I pop up. We litty popping like bad boy in 94. Big popping and diddy and niggas counting me out. Like what's free? Free is when nobody else can tell us what to be. Free is when the TV ain't controlling what we see. Told my niggas I need you. Do all the fame, you know I stay true. Pray my niggas stay free. Made a few mistakes, but this ain't where I want. And the free with the blacks enslaved. Three fifths of a man, I believe's the phrase. I'm 50% of Duce and it's dead free. 
three-fifths of a man. If you know, you know. Research your history if you don't know about the three-fifths of a man. <sighs> Crazy. Oh, fuck, I just accidentally skipped it. Yeah, my bad. Yeah. 100% of Ace of Spade worth half a beat. Uh. Rock Nation, half of that, that's my piece. 100% of title to bust it up with my cheese. Uh. Smokes, my niggas won't ever work together. You run a checker, but they never give you leverage. No red hat, no Michael and... Some some of y'all might have missed that line, so I, I'm 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 gonna play that back. You run a checker, but they never give you leverage. Smokes, my niggas won't ever work together. I ain't, I keep rewind. I'm not rewinding the back far enough. My bad, y'all. I I ain't want to rewind it back too far. You know what I'm saying? But I, I ain't I ain't rewinding it back far enough because. Hundred percent of title to bust it up with my cheese. Uh, smokes, my niggas won't ever work together. My niggas won't ever work together. Think about that. You run a checker, but they never give you leverage. <laughs> Jay Z be giving people game in the music, but people don't be listening. Don't be listening. That's that's why Jay Z the goat, man. But but most people not really paying attention to what he's saying. It's a shame. My niggas won't ever work together. Might be a shot at Drake. Just maybe. Drake had a chance to join Title and help Title rise, but he went and joined Apple for the money. When Jay-Z offered him a percentage of the company instead of money, Drake took the money and went with Apple instead of working together with Jay-Z and helping the culture rise. I mean, Jay-Z's -Jay spoken about that before, but I think that was just another way of putting it. And then he said, you run a checkup, but they won't ever give you leverage. <laughs> You want to check up in Gucci. You want to check up in Louis, Fendi. They ain't giving you no leverage, though. <laughs> Talk to us, ho. No red hat, don't Michael and Prince me and yay. They separate you when you got Michael and Prince's DNA. Uh, I ain't one of That bar right there, I actually saw, I actually saw something on Instagram. Um, where he said, um. He said uh, that that was just a bar trying to say, like, don't try to don't try to pin me and my brother against one another just because of our disagreements. And he was talking about the red MAGA hat, hat that Kanye was wearing, obviously, uh, which that that was the whole point of that bar right there. These house niggas, you bought my house like a resort. My house bigger than yours. My spot. Come on, man. My route better. Of course, we started. <laughs> Y'all catch that though? Y'all catch that? My house bigger than yours, my spot. Come on, man. He, he, was, he was about to start talking about Beyonce. And he was like, my, my, my spouse. I, you know, because I, you know, he might have said something disrespectful about Kim. You know, my, my, my spouse ain't, you know, on any sex tapes or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? But he, he stopped himself. Salute. My route better, of course. We started without food in our mouth. They gave us pork and pig intestines. Mm. Shit you discarded that we ingested. We made the project a wave. You came back, reinvested and gentrified it. Took niggas sense of pride. Now how that's free? And them people stole the soul and hit niggas with 360s. Stole they soul and hit niggas with 360s. 360 deals. These rappers is signing. That they all bragging about this advance money. But what they failing to realize, and I, I don't I don't know the whole ins and outs of the whole industry. I'm not gonna sit here and pretend like I know. Y'all know I keep it 100. I keep it a buck. If I don't know all the information, I'm gonna tell y'all. But I but I am gonna speak my mind on it. You know that's for damn sure. You know what I'm saying? If I wasn't, why <laughs> why would it be my channel? You know what I'm saying? But um, 
These dudes are signing these 360 deals. And from my understanding of a 360 deal, that means your label has their hands in every revenue stream that you have coming from the music, including the merch. The merchandise that you sell, you don't even get all of those profits. That ain't got nothing to do with the music. I mean, yeah, yeah, of course you're an artist. So, of course, you know, a lot, you, every technically everything that you do has something to do with the music. But merchandise should be something that's totally separate. But nah, these artists are signing these 360 deals. You're signing your life away. You a slave now. You a modern day slave. You can't control what you put out. You can't control when you put it out. <laughs> you can't leave that deal. You signed on a dotted line. You leave and that's your whole life gone. Well, if you try to, they're going to empty every pocket you got. Then what? I just think people need to get get smarter on money management. You know what I'm saying? Like people coming from the hood, you know, they get money and and don't really know how to manage it. And that's a problem. And people are taking advantage of them because of that. And it's time that that changes. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got a billion streams, got a billion dollars. <laughs> like we told, be happy about this. I ain't got a billion streams, but I got a billion dollars. I don't give a you're telling you, I don't give a fuck about these streaming numbers, son. But I got a billion dollars. What you got in your pocket? We just found out Takashi 6 9 only had 1.7 million in his bank account. But he flaunted all this jewelry. You know what I'm saying? All this other stuff. 1.7. That's it. No, and don't get don't get me wrong. I mean, let's 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 not let's not get it confused. You know what I'm saying? I know some of y'all are probably like, Rich, what? $47 million? I'll take that off. I, I would too, damn it. You know what I'm saying? Let's let's keep it 100. You know what I'm saying? I'll take that $1.7 mil too. But when, when when we think about these young kids, um, uh, th these young kids believe that uh, these rappers are making and have a lot more money than what they actually have. You know what I'm saying? Like when you when you compare 1.7 mil to a Drake, a Jay Z, <laughs> Jay Z spent that 1.7 on a car. I'm sure he spent more than that on a private island he bought for Beyonce. Like. We was praising Billboard, but we were young. Now I look at Billboard like, is you dumb? <laughs> to this day, Grandma afraid what I might say. They gonna have to kill me, Grandmama. I'm not their slave. <laughs> <laughs> Check out the bazaar. Rapping style used by me. The HOV, look at my hair free. Carefree. Niggas ain't there free. Enjoy your chains. What's your employer name with the hair piece? Enjoy your chains. What's your employer name? Jay-Z is telling these artists, bro, stop signing these deals. He's telling you in the music, enjoy your chains. Enjoy your chains and your chains. What's your employer name? The one with the hairpiece? He, get, he giving them game, bro, but people ain't listening. I survived a hood, can't no shot time rob me. My account's so good, I'm practically living tax free. Mm. Back three, that's me. Sold drugs, got away, scot free. That's a C, C, E, copy. Kill free, steal me, and expect me to not feel away. To this day, you would say, y'all kill me. Sucker free, no shucking me. <laughs> Jay Z is spazzing right now, bro. This whole verse, he's spazzing. Oh, fuck, I ain't mean to do that. Spazzing out right now. Going going crazy, bro. Say happy Thanksgiving shit sound like a murder to me. Smoke free, all of y'all calling out toll free. Label rob you for millions, yet you wanna put a hole in me. Sugar free, season, but I'm soft free. You lay a hand on hold my shooter, shoot for free. I promise World War Three. 
Send an order through a hand speed. Kill you in 24 hours or shorter, you can't ignore the hand speed. Label robbing you for millions, but you want to put a hole in me. <laughs> Foolish. Foolish. Come on, man. I, I I know I didn't pause it a lot, but you know what? I don't even give a fuck. Cause this this shit this shit is this shit is real. You know what I'm saying? Whenever Jay Z step on the mic, man, we all need to listen. And that's a fact. We all need to pay attention. Cause he coming to you with game. You know what I'm saying? He ain't out here just he ain't out here spitting just to spit. Like he said, I ain't got a billion streams, but I I got a billion dollars. You know what I'm saying? Like. He just out here just to give you game. He ain't in it for the money no more. I'm, I'm, I'm sure he, I'm sure he wants to make more money. You know what I'm saying? But he he ain't really he ain't really in the rap game to chase dollars anymore. You know what I'm saying? Like that's done. Not 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 saying like he can't do it anymore, but like done to the point where like he's made so much money outside. Of the music industry, the amount of money that he makes off of an album, minuscule to 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 what he's making out outside of it. So when he step on the mic, you pay. We all need to pay close attention. On guard, it's off the head. This improv, but it's no comedy. Oh, he said off the head. Hell no. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> so fire fire just 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 on jay-z first alone fire i ain't i ain't even really touch on meek we all been waiting waiting on the new meek to show up and that's rocking too but that jay-z though y'all need to listen for sure. Jay-Z giving everybody game. And we all need to pay attention. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, let me know what you guys thought about the video in the comment section below. Make sure you guys leave a like before you go. Hit the subscribe button as you guys already know. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video, man.